Allow me to receive from you today. Remove it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, say, God, if there is any tumor, I can't hear you say, God, if there is any tumor that will not let me receive here today, cast it out in the name of Jesus. Say, God, any tumor hanging around to capture my blessing. I revoke it in Jesus. Let begin revoke it, revoke it, revoke it. Any demon in your body, even if it is you that is doing yourself, even if it is you that is throwing that body, even if it is you that is possessed with demon that will not let you receive today, that's all to upset it, to remove it. Pray, 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 pray. Any territorial demon that is hovering around the sky, that is in the air, that is in your own body, that will stop you from receiving today. Cast it out! 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 Any demon of confusion, I cast it out with the power of the Holy Ghost. Any demon that will cross your ears from listening to the word of God, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Any demon that Satan have assigned to stop you from receiving today, any demon that Satan have assigned to your life that will make you receive nothing today, I cast it out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Some are possessed, but they don't know. Some, you are the one to yourself. Say, God Almighty. God Almighty. Wherever Satan and demon is hiding in my body, Satan or demon is that I don't even know, Remove it, remove it, remove it, set me free, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. prayer. 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 Demon of disobedience, cast it out. Demon of confusion, cast it out. Demon of arrogance, cast it out. Demon that may make to cause confusion. Demon of destruction, cast it out. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together. Don't sit there. Lift up your hands. We want to invite Holy Spirit to come into our midst right now. We bow down and worship. Come on, sing. Yahweh. Come on, church, sing. We bow, we bow down, we bow down and, and worship, and worship Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Let me hear you see Yahweh. We welcome you into our midst, Yahweh, Yahweh. We bow down, hallelujah, and worship Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh, what is it that I put in about? We welcome you, Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh, I declare this holy assembly free from any demonic manipulation. At the feet of Jesus, you, that foul spirit, bah! at 
the feet of Jesus. I cut the wing of that wish right now. In the name of Jesus. You can fly no more. You can fly no more. You that wish. You that wizard. I cast it out of the abyss with the power of the Holy Ghost. Anyone who is here today with any evil mind receive curse from above in Jesus name. May you wither in Jesus name. Any demon that is flying everywhere, creating confusion among children of God. May you wither in Jesus' name. Amen. Die in Jesus' name. Amen. Any spirit of confusion, any spirit of attack, die. Because this is a house of God. You have no place here. Children of God want to learn. Children of God want to receive salvation. You are destined for hell. But we are destined for salvation. Thank you Lord. 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 Come on begin to thank the Lord for saving your life. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wave your hand. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you, Lord. Amen. Please sit down. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Praise the Lord. Open your Bible. To the book of First Peter. I read from verse 5, First Peter chapter 5, and I'm going to read from verse 7. First Peter chapter 5, and I'm going to read from verse 7 to 8. Be sober. Be on the alert. Your adversary, that is your enemies, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Firm in the faith, knowing that the same suffering are being experienced by your brothers in the world. This is the message that was given to the church. Satan is like a roaring lion traveling all around the world. Looking for people to destroy. Looking for victims to destroy, to kill, and to, 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 to maim. The Bible says, resist them. Resist the devil. I wake for Jesus. Say, brother, I wake. You are sleeping. Resist the devil. I can't hear you, brother. Sister. Awake. Awake. Resist, the devil. Resist the devil. Stop sleeping. Stop sleeping. Devil is at your doorstep. You don't know. He is following you in your office. You don't know because you are sleeping. He's following you in your marriage. You don't know because you are sleeping. He's following you in your finance. You don't know because you are sleeping. Listen to me. There are two types of suffering. You may be suffering because you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Say neighbor. You may be suffering because you have received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You may be suffering because you are helping your church. Satan may be fighting you. Satan may be fighting you. You may be suffering because of your hard work in your church. But I came to tell you. That battle is not for you. It's for Jesus. Say that battle is not for you. It's for Jesus. That battle is not for me. It's for 
All what you need to do is keep on doing what you are doing for God. Say, my brother and sisters, keep on doing what you are doing for God. Your Savior will fight for you. But don't forget, don't sleep again. I can't hear you. Don't sleep again. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. Resist him in your life. Resist him in the church. Resist him in your marriage. When he comes to you a hundred times, suck him out. Resist him in your business. Come on, resist him in your marriage. Come on, resist him in your family. Say, I don't want you. Come on, say, Satan, I hate you. Rise up and say, Satan, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, Satan. I hate you with your passion. Leave my family alone. Leave our church alone. Leave my business alone. I am a child of God. Say amen. amen. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. The only person. Other true believers, they are experiencing the same thing. Satan is attacking them. But he says, when he comes to you, on that time, resist him. When Satan comes to you, one million times, do what? I can't hear you. Stop writing. Look at me. When Satan comes to tempt you, do what? If he comes one million times, resist him one million times, and he will run away from you. I say he will run away from you. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Listen to me. Why must we resist the devil? Look at your neighbor's face. Say, why must we resist the devil? He is the cause of your problems. He is the cause of our problem. He is the cause of barrenness. He is the cause of sickness. He is the cause of affliction. Satan devil is a cause of failure. Is the cause of our, our present situation. And its primary reason is to lead people to hell. His primary reason is to what? His primary reason is to what? Is to lead people to hell. That is why he will encamp you. He will imprison you. He will dominate your life. He will manipulate you. He will hypnotize you. You become boy, boy to Satan. You become boy, boy what? You become zombie to Satan. When you say go and kill, you go and kill. When you say go and scatter that church, you go and scatter that church. When you say go and beat your wife, you beat your wife. When you say go and go and, go and stab your husband, you go and stab your husband. Because his mission is evil. Because his mission is what? Satan hates what is good. Say Satan hates what is good. Listen to me. Our father Jesus knows Satan very well. Say my father Jesus knows Satan very well. can't hear you and he taught us in the bible we must know him and his evil ways say he taught me to know him and his evil ways so that i will not fall into his trap but my brothers upon all the warning jesus gave to his children many of us still fall into the trap of what let me tell you today, if you don't have the food of Satan in your body, Satan cannot prevail in your life. They will attack you, but he will fail. Say amen. amen. Say, my brother, I wait, I wait for Jesus. Make sure you don't have the food of Satan in your body. What are the food of Satan? Jealousy, envy, stealing, lying. What you don't see, you say you see it. They are the food of Satan. And once you have such food in your life, he will attack you left. You fight like Muhammad Ali and fight him. If you don't fight in a day, you will not have peace. It is food of Satan. 
It is food of what? That is the first way you can resist him and ensure that you do what is good. Listen to me. Satan does not like what is good. Where people are happy and rejoicing and praising God, Satan does not like it. He will plant some people in their midst to create confusion. Say amen. amen. But unfortunately, many of us don't know them. They are our best friend. Because they will manipulate you so much that you will think they are good to you. You will think they are your, they are your favorite. You will think they are your supporter. Meanwhile, they are agents that the devil has planted to create confusion in your life. If I'm talking to somebody, say hallelujah. Jesus knows Satan very well. When Jesus fasted 40 days and 49, Satan faced him face to face. Satan met him what? If Satan could tempt Jesus, then you, who do not take your God serious, I am sorry for you. If Satan could tempt Jesus, and Jesus gave him knockout, and because he was angry that our Messiah knocked him out, he said to himself, those who claim to be his followers, I will disgrace them. I will manipulate them. I will use them for what I want. And that is what Satan is doing all over the world. And it's very common in places that children of God are gathered. In places where children of God are what? If you have a place where 1,000 children of God are gathered, 100 of them, they are agents of what? May the Lord save us in Jesus' name. Amen. But you don't know it. They are your friends. They can even be your family. They can be close to the pastor. They can be close to the pastor's wife. They can be close to being an elder. Anything in the church. In some cases, I'm sorry, our mothers, they can even be pastor's wives. The devil will plant them in there. When the church is growing, their own is, I will scatter the church. I will And how can they scatter the church? What they don't see, what they see, they will say a big lie that it will take the grace of God to prove you innocent. That is the duty of Jesus, of Satan. And Jesus knew this. He warned us. The Bible knew this. He warned us that we should never have anything to do with Satan, Satan and demon. He warned us. Not only warning us, he told us the mission of Satan. Jesus told us, said Jesus told me, the mission of Satan in the book of John 10 verse 10 let's open your Bible your Bible my Bible my Bible let me see your Bible it's your Bible raise up your Bible I said raise up your Bible it teaches me to righteousness. It teaches me to holiness. My Bible, rise up and raise up your Bible. Say, my Bible, my Bible, rise up and raise up your Bible. My Bible, it teaches me to righteousness. It teaches me to holiness. It teaches me to love. It's my helper. The Bible is my teacher. If I want to receive the devil, I must have my Bible. Wave your Bible to the Lord. The first thing the devil wants to see in a Christian, if you don't have your Bible, you are his customer. If you don't have Bible, you are the first customer of who? Answer me. Because he knows you lack knowledge. He knows you know nothing about him. He knows you know nothing about who? About him. 
So for you to resist the devil, your first weapon is your Bible. My first weapon is what? So we want to read what Jesus told us. How Jesus described devil. How Jesus described who? John 10 verse what? A thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. Jesus used metaphorical statement here. He compared devil as a thief. As what? Answer me as what? A thief who have come to steal your property. A thief who have come to destroy what you have worked for in life. How many of you would like a thief to be your friend? If you are a friend of a thief here, lift up a hand. If you are a friend of a thief here, lift up a hand. Why is it that you are running away from thief? Because you know a thief is an evil person. That is why Jesus compared devil as a thief. You should run away from. But unfortunately, many people have the materials of devil in their lives. Many of us come to church but you still succumb to the directions of Satan. Many of us we have big, big title in church but we are still looking elsewhere. Devil is still manipulating us. And the Bible tells us you must know the truth and the truth shall set us free. Say my brothers and sisters. My brother, my sister. If you are in the house of God, say it like my brothers and sisters. My brother, my sister. Let the truth set you free. Some people don't want to know the truth. One leg in falsehood, one leg in the truth. You cannot serve two masters. Say my brothers, you cannot serve two masters. My brother, you cannot serve but some of us are serving two masters. Let me tell you one thing today. A friend of your enemy is your enemy. How many of you know that? If you know that a friend of your enemy is your enemy, lift up your hand. But many of you, you are still a friend to an enemy of the church. A friend to somebody who hates you with a passion is also your enemy. He will kill you in the same way your enemy will what? Satan uses what the military men call decoy. D-E-C-O-Y. Decoy, they are meant as an advanced team to investigate, to find out the weakness of your enemies, the weakness of your war. They will come to you as a friend. They will come to you as what? In order to study you. And they will be giving feedback to their main head office. To their world. He will eat with you. He will visit you in the house. He will even tell you, you want to see how your bedroom looks like. He will know all your children. He will know where you go every day. And he will be supplying information to where. He will know the route you pass to your office every day. May enemy never capture you in Jesus' name. I said may enemy never capture you in the name of Jesus. Many of us, we allow the coy to enter our lives. And on the day they will attack you, you will be shocked. That this person who has been coming very close to you to eat with you is the one who will lead them to your house. Who will lead them to your what? Decoy is a military terminology. They are spies. They are what? Espionage. 
they can spend two years to dig you. They can spend five years to do what? To dig you. And once they get every information about you, that is when you see that you have made the greatest mistake of your life by being by allowing them to come closer to you. That is why, and they, that is how Satan and devil operate. Say, that is how Satan operate. That is how Satan Answer me, that is where Satan operate. That is how Satan operate. If you don't know today, devil see children of God as his enemies. Devil see children of God as his what? And so that's why the attack is direct at children of God. But you, me, and everybody, you don't see devil as your enemy. You still see devil as your friend. I am, I am, I am, I, I pity you and your family. May it not be too late before you know that devil has only been manipulating you. That is why the message is coming to you today. Resist the devil. Say, resist the devil. And it will flee from you. Please put your hands together for Jesus. I said to you, I said apology to pastor's wife. Making the apology to my wife precisely. Because she has stood by me for the past 15 years. Despite all what the plot of even those who are here and outside here to make her stay in the house for years. I know some of you are not happy but she's coming to church but you have failed say you have failed, you have failed. say who you have failed and it's an example to other pastor's wife when I was at that book bullshit the pastor's wife was coming to me every day you see she will come to me with swollen face what happened my husband beat me he even disgraced me in church. But when I went into it, the woman was a witch. The woman was what? A witch. The woman was what? A witch. And he, he vowed to destroy everything that the husband has. And he came to manipulate me too. He came to do what? He came to manipulate me every time. Ooh, 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 ooh. My husband, my husband. What did he do? He beat me even in front of the church. He kicked me left and right. But when I struck my hand on her, she started talking. She started what? Talking. I am a wish. I have destroyed my husband. This and that. They are plenty. They are what? Not only pastors, even ordinary men and women. Why? You find them in church. If it is time to dance, they are the one who will dance like Michael Jackson. They can easily make friends, but they are agents of what? But unfortunately, you and I do not know they are your best friends. Anything they tell you, you believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap for prophetess elect. I know the battle we have fought in your hand. My enemies are not from outside. They are from where? Some of you, you work very hard to help me to grow this church. You attack them. You create confusion so that they will go. So that they will what? And you will remain there as chief of staff. But glory be to God. Jesus is Lord. Say glory be to God. Jesus is Lord. It's not any, everybody you can sack from the church. Say, it's not everybody we can sack from the church. Some will stand with Jesus till Jesus come. I am one of them. Are you one of them? Yes. I'm about to hand of God for Jesus Christ. Whatever people say, whatever people say, whatever people say, I will stand for Jesus. Are you standing for Jesus? You are standing when you are sitting down. Whatever people say, whatever people say, I will stand for Jesus. Whatever people say, whatever people say. 
Standing for Jesus. I say, keep on standing for Jesus. Keep on standing for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. I know how many people who have worked with me in this ministry and they have been attacked and they carry their bag and their Bible and they did what? Because it's not everybody who can stand noise. But me, what I've seen in life. If they come to tell you that they saw your wife in a, in a car of your senior pastor and they are just going and Satan now sent an agent and say, can't you see them? And you look like this and you saw them. You will carry your back that day and leave that church. Yes or no? Yes. But I stand because I saw my future. Because I did what? And this is my future. Receive the devil. If they have called you and warned you, never follow Beach or Capitia Coyote. If you follow him and you die. Yes. They've told you before. Yes. They've told you before. Yes. But here you are. Yes. You will not die okay, Jesus. Amen. I'm talking of satanic manipulation. Many of our members here have been manipulated by what they they say, ah, if that thing is happening in that church, then why should I go there? They stay in the house and Satan now envelope all. Some will even say, I am insulting somebody. Somebody they don't even know. Somebody when this when you see them on the road, he can even use his car to knock them. They say, I'm insulting them. And because of that, they did what? It means sin demon of that person is working on their life. Am I talking to children of God? Yes. But here you are. You have heard a lot of things about me. Yes or no? Yes. You heard about it a lot about the church. Yes or no? Yes. But you stand here and you see the truth and the truth is setting you free. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Listen to me. When you see any agent who want to destroy the church and you disgrace them, you are on the lost side. Say, you are on the lost side. The problem many of us have in the past is you know the agent of Satan, but you close your and knowingly or unknowingly, you even help them to talk. My advice to you is don't cover don't cover who? Don't cover who? Confront them and tell them you will expose them. You will what? That means you are on the Lord what? And you will begin to see the mark of God on your life. Come on, put your hand together for the Lord. Wow. Listen to me. If you fail to expose the work of the devil, the devil will be increasing in your family. If you fail to expose the work of devil in a church, you are giving that devil ample chance to grow in that church. And one day, God will ask you, you know about it, but you kept quiet. You said you don't want people to insult you. You don't want people to do what? You are not a child of God. It means you cannot defend Jesus. The apostles, despite the fact of what they passed through, they put them in cell. They put them in prison. They did not stop preaching the gospel. They continued to speak the truth. They continued to magnify the name of the Lord. And by doing that, they were disgracing Satan. By doing that, they were what? And the devil left them. 
and they were able to complete the assignment on earth. Do not be afraid. No one can kill you. Your problem is you are afraid. But I can come to tell you no one is able to kill me even in the midst of attack. You listen to the sound of my voice. No one will kill you in Jesus' name. Amen. Just stand by the truth. Say, I work for Jesus. I, work for Jesus. I can't hear you. I work for Jesus. Stand by the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Listen to me. If you fail to call a spade a spade over a bad attitude of a family friend, when that family friend begins to kill your father, the case will be on you that you knew it, but you did not what? You did not what? You did not what? You did not say it. And that guilty conscience will play on your emotion till you die. Every time you will be saying, if I have said it out that day that this man is evil, my, he will not be able to kill my... But I kept quiet. Listen to me. When you have a small wound on your leg, if you don't treat it, it will become cancer. 